Hey everybody, it's Chris back with another review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing a Colorado beer, the Hayes Hoppy Session Ale. Uh, I've been through this bottle over and over again. It describes itself simply as a Hoppy Session Ale. Um, Hayes to Hoppy Session Ale is dry hopped in the fermenter while cold conditioning. This massive secondary hop addition infuses big fresh hop flavor and aroma in the beer without adding bitterness, making Hazard a very approachable hoppy brew. So, I don't know how you make it hoppy without being bitter, but somehow they have the claim that they have. I've not tried this before. I've never tried anything actually from Boulder Beer Company, established in 1979. There is no ABV, but to their credit, there is an enjoy by date, which is August 11th of 2016. So, this is got a couple weeks before it's out. I did notice, and I'm going to see if I can find it now. There's this weird white sedimenty thing down here at the bottom. Of course, now I can't find it. So since it's within parameters, I'm going to hope that that sedimenty thing was just some hops, some, you know, something like that, and not some actual mold that got into it. But uh, anyway, let's, um, let's get this started, shall we? So we're going to use the pop-the-top opener. Man, I got some serious glare today, and there's almost no sunlight at this point. Uh, but the pop-the-top opener from Taza Designs to open the, there we go, Aced Hoppy Session Ale from Boulder Beer, Beer Company. So no ABV, but this is a couple weeks before it's enjoy by date. And there you can see a perfect cap that could easily be put into a wall mount or used to reseal the bottle. So... Pop the top opener, that's the way to go. I am going to use my Visen glass uh, because it's not very often that I get to use it. Uh, although I have discovered that you can use Visen glasses for Gozas, so that does make a change of things. But um, considering this doesn't s describe itself anything more than as an ale, I thought, you know, why not? Wow, that is, that is some serious head. Holy cow, did I shake this up before and didn't realize it? Ladies and gentlemen, that is nothing but head. So uh, I'm going to try to see if we can't. Golly gee whiz, that's a lot of head. I'm wondering if maybe that bottle didn't get uh, more shaken up than I realized. Because I was not expecting this much. But, um, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, Certainly, I'm getting a hoppy aroma off of this. Holy cow. Man, that's a lot of head. This got a lot more shaken up than I realized. Uh, so, I'm going to have to do a better job of letting the beer settle uh, than that. I, uh, but what I did is I switched beers, and um, I didn't get a chance to uh, blend it over. You can see now this is coming through. It's... It's very, it's not as hazy as I was expecting it to be, honestly. It's kind of hazy, got lots of carbonation. Uh, and that's aside from this head that is so illustrious. Hoppy flavored head. Okay. Let's see if we can't maybe work this out a bit. It's holy cow. That's, uh, I mean, I, I'm not as good a pourer as Tony. I've said that many, many times. My friend who joins me in the Tiger Sox videos, I've, I've said before, Tony could pour <clears throat> 10 ounces of beer into an 8-ounce glass. But uh, I'm usually not this bad, and this is something. Well, I feel like I'm wasting time standing here talking to you while I'm just trying to get this head to calm down a little bit. But... Um, Trying to finish this off. I'm getting a lot of uh, a lot of hop smell from this, and like I said, that was a hoppy uh, head at the top. All right, bottle is empty. As you can see, and as you as you have seen, it's taken some time to get this head to calm down. Uh, not exactly sure what that was all about. 
It does make me kind of wonder about that sediment that I saw earlier in the bottle, on the bottom of the bottle, though. Uh, anyway, I'm going to hope for the best, hope that nothing is wrong with this batch, and uh, cheers. Hmm. Um, I think I need a second taste. <clears throat> I'm not sure what I think of this beer, to be honest with you. Um, I know I don't feel strongly enough to, to like it. Uh, hmm. I, I, I guess it is... It, it, they did manage to do it. They got it hoppy without being bitter. And uh, for somebody who enjoys IPAs as much as I do, that doesn't work for me, quite frankly. Um, about a medium mouth feel. <clears throat> Not a lot of flavor. Uh, it's a unique beer. This is, this is unique. There's, there's no doubt about that. Um, it's just, uh, huh. well, I don't know. I'm not crazy about this beer. Um, and I'm not even sure who to refer to this beer. Uh, if you like, I, I, actually, you know what? I think if you like your pale ales with uh, a little bit of spikiness, like, um, I could maybe see Zombie Dust fans going for this, and I'm a Zombie Dust fan myself, but I'm not crazy about this. Uh, but maybe other zombie dust fans would like it. If you if you like a little kick to your pale ale, that's basically what this is. The aged hoppy session ale from Boulder Brewing Company. But uh, I am not crazy about this beer. Uh, I don't dislike it, but I'm not crazy about it. It's uh, it's unique. I'll give them that. They've created something unique, but not something that I'm really that fond of. But hey, can't be winners all the time, huh? Anyway, no, there's, and like I said, there's nothing wrong with the beer. I, I, I think uh, those of you who like a little kick in your pale ales, like maybe a rye pale ale, things like that, um, uh, you might dig this. Um, and maybe other uh, Zombie Dust fans would dig this. But uh, until then, um, sorry I wasted so much of your time waiting for that head to go down. Uh, I see that I've almost clocked in at eight minutes now. I've got a birthday coming up in three days, so I decided I'd go ahead and do a review today. I'm going to do one every day leading up to my birthday, I decided. So uh, uh, you can expect to see another one tomorrow night and another one Friday night. And Saturday is my birthday. I don't know what I'm going to do on Saturday, So uh, aside from go to work. Anyway, I did make it over to the Eastern European market. Um, so not going to be the discounts, uh, discounted beers like I normally get, but there are going to be some uh, beers that I will showcase from that market. Uh, they're Eastern European as well as Mediterranean. So very soon we're going to be checking out an, a Lebanese beer as well as an Imperial Russian Stout that was actually brewed in St. Petersburg, and I'm really looking forward to that one. So anyway, um, until then, drink good beer, don't break the bank doing it, and cheers.